Perplexity AI is one of the most useful AI tools out there, and I don't think people are using it enough, at least for what it's good for. All right, so we're going to talk about that in today's edition of AI in 5. So if you're new here, what's up? My name is Jordan. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter helping people learn and leverage generative AI. So if you find this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see, but go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for that free daily newsletter. So let's take a look at perplexity. So perplexity, I think is amazing. Um, it is, I think, a, uh, like a perfect combination between a traditional Google search with sources and links versus the content creation capabilities of something like ChatGPT. So uh, let's first look a little bit under the hood and kind of explain a little bit how uh, perplexity works. So uh, you are greeted with this box that just says, ask anything. Um, and you can, you know, set a focus for your sources, which is good. Uh, I, for the most part, I use perplexity for a lot of different things on a daily basis for the everyday AI show. So I usually just set that as all. You can also attach um, an image, text, or PDFs. Uh, so if you are on a free account, um, even myself, I'm on a free account right now. I probably should get the, uh, get, get the pro account. Uh, but you are limited to uh, attach both to uh, attachments um, and to what's called Copilot. So let's very quickly look at what Copilot is and some of the benefits of Perplexity Pro. So, um, you know, obviously you get more file uploads. You get to choose your AI model selection because um, you can choose between GPT-4 and Claude 2.1, as well as the new Gemini model or just uh, Perplexity. So that's nice. You also get in that $20 uh, a month um, subscription, you also get $5 in monthly, uh, API credits. So, uh, for more technical people, but it's still super useful, but I'd say the biggest uh, difference is unlimited copilot queries. So, uh, copilot, I'll show it to you and I'll explain it to you. I'll show you a before and after search with copilot. Yeah. Everyone uses the copilot terminology. It's a little confusing, but perplexities copilot is really cool. So let's just take a look. So essentially what it does is it helps you, they give examples, like it's more helpful with travel planning, academic research, professional research, et cetera. So uh, it essentially sometimes asks you clarifying questions, and then you can expand on those even after the fact to get a little bit more information. All right. So with that, let's just jump in and let's do a perplexity search first without Copilot. All right. So I'm just doing something simple. Um, I'm just saying activities to do in Barcelona, Spain. So you're planning a trip to Barcelona, uh, you know, this is maybe a good example. So you'll see right here, um, it just right away is literally, it's almost like planning an act, like an itinerary for me, uh, which is great. So it's showing different destinations that it's referencing here on the map. Uh, it's giving me, uh, which the thing I love about perplexity is it always sources it like cite your sources. That's so important. Sometimes you don't really get that in chat GPT. Uh, or other large language models. Sometimes you do, uh, but perplexity is great at it. That's what they're known for. So then I can see exactly where it's getting these answers and then I can read the answers. And if I want to know more, I can click on each of these individual uh, things right here. So let's just say uh, if I wanted to go to the uh, flamenco guitar concert, I can click that and then I can read more information. So this is interesting. It's actually grabbing uh, even uh, information from Reddit, which is, you know, as crazy as it sounds, a lot of people over the years have just turned to Reddit as like a search engine. So uh, you can specifically see where you're getting all of these, um, inf like all of this information from. So you can also share and send this to someone. So maybe if you're planning a trip together, you can click rewrite so you can rewrite the answer. Uh, so let's just go ahead and now do the rewrite, but with Copilot. So if you are in the free plan, uh, I think it's, uh, let's let's see here. I think it's uh, four... It's it's four or five every couple of hours. I'll, I'll let you know here in a second. So let's just go ahead and click rewrite with Copilot. So now a lot of times it's going to ask you a clarifying question as it just did here. So that's one of the advantages of Copilot is it kind of thinks and it uh, you know does some some reasoning and some rationale first to be like, okay, I wonder what the searcher actually means when they're typing activities to do in Barcelona, Spain. So it's asking me what type of activities are you interested in? So I'm just going to say food and drink. Let's see if I can um, do multiple. There we go. So let's just say I'm going to choose just food and drink and outdoor. Also, it says if other, I'm going to say sports. All right. And then I can send. So you'll see already 
that there's definitely some benefits to using this, uh, the co-pilot version of this. It does a much better job of kind of interpreting the question, thinking about it, things that maybe even the user isn't thinking of. Um, so now you'll see here, I get a completely different uh, kind of built-in itinerary. And let me just say right now, this is not, to tell you the truth, this is not something that is just used for you know travel itineraries. I'm just doing this as an example. I use perplexity almost every single day uh, to look up AI news and to help it um, you know simplify it for me so I can read more uh, news sources faster um, and to really just get the what's important in those news articles. So here we go. Now it's done. I, I have a now a personalized itinerary. So again, like I love to travel. I would sometimes spend five, 10, 15 hours doing this type of research, right? I would read reviews and TripRevisor and, you know, looking at local websites and maybe Reddit, right? So this is automatically, and, and again, think of this not just for personal life, think of this for your business life, right? Like whatever you're trying to, to learn to grow your company, to grow your career, jump in perplexity. It's so much faster. And it, um, you know, a lot of times keeps you from going down those deep and dark rabbit holes of why do I have 72 tabs open right now? And like, what am I doing, right? So uh, this really saves you from that. So uh, this is a great example. So let's let's just go ahead um, and try to do something similar here in Google. So, you know, you can just search in Google, but obviously Google has the SGE, which is the surf, search generative AI exper uh, experience. So I can go ahead and click see more. So this is kind of the kind of, quote unquote, Google version of this, which is a little different. You know, this obviously places a much higher emphasis on, uh, you know, these Google uh, map points here. So you can see when I hover over them, it highlights them. Uh, but still, um, you still get a pretty good good amount of information. And then if I want to see the sources of where Google is is doing these, I can click here. So last but not least, let me, uh, let me pause, um, pause this screen and let me bring up another one here. Got to switch over to a different account. So now let's see what that how that would happen in ChatGPT. So using GPT four and uh, essentially browse you know browse with Bing, assuming it's going to use browse with Bing. Let's see. Okay, so it didn't, which is interesting. Uh, so that's the thing. Sometimes uh, you know the default mode will automatically inside ChatGPT. Sometimes it'll automatically uh, you know refer to or browse with Bing. Um, in this case, it didn't. So it just remind it just. Uh, you know, ChatGPT just relied on its, you know, 1.8 trillion parameter, um, you know, data set and just started spitting out facts. So now I'm going to say using browse with Bing, and then we'll see um, if we get a better or different. So I'm going to say, please give me activities to do in Barcelona, Spain. So, you know, the default uh, from ChatGPT, it's a little dry. It's not super, uh, in my in my opinion, it's it's not as detailed. And you'll see the other thing here. No links, right? So if I want links or anything like that, um, I don't get it. So now as it's, you can see it's browsing with Bing now, which is which is good. That's what we kind of wanted it to do. So I'm gonna try to run this one more time and I'm gonna ask it to please cite all sources. I'm gonna say, please cite all sources so I can visit those websites to learn more. Okay. And Bing, uh, Browse with Bing has actually gotten much better about this, uh, you know, over the last couple of months. So now you'll see for each of these things, it is actually citing. Um, so you'll see here, I'm hovering over and I can see, um, you know, what it does. So I actually don't have to run this prompt. Sometimes it does source things very well uh, inside uh, when you're using the default mode, Browse with Bing's. Uh, sometimes it doesn't. So, but it looks like each and every uh, kind of uh, bullet point here, it is sorted. Um, and it's all different things as well. So that is a super high level overview. I know this was, you know, kind of, uh, initially about perplexity pro, um, you know, or just perplexity, but I wanted to also do that comparison, right. Of how this works in, in other, um, in other instances. But, you know, one thing I do love about perplexity is the co-pilot feature is fantastic. And I can ask a follow-up and I'll say, you know, what events are happening in March, you know, and then it's going to take the context of our conversation before and it's still right. So the co-pilot here is asking me, so what do I want to know? So let's say sports events, festivals and music concerts and sense. So it's going to take already the conversation that we had. Um, now I'm giving it more specific information. It kind of knows from before 
you know, ah, cultural events, you know, not for me as an example. So now by using Copilot, it's going to go through and save you so much time. So again, I hope this was helpful. Um, and also think of how you can use this for your business. This is something I use every day to just read articles faster to get more important information out of them quicker. So uh, if this was helpful, let me know in the comments, but also please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five or AI in 10. Thanks, y'all.